Hello guys, Kamikaze Kiwi here, um, and this is a quick tutorial um, to on how to install The Sims 2 um, with expansions on um, Windows 8.1. Um, absolute nightmare for anyone that's tried it, and an absolute nightmare to fix it, but hopefully I'm going to help you through that. First things first, I did have Sims 2 with the 4 disc set. Um, the four disc CD set and that really really did not want to install it installed fine actually um, but when you installed any expansion pack on top of that um, all I got was please insert disc 4 and that was it that was the end of that would not detect any disc tried it on disc tried copying it to the machine absolutely everything would not work so I cheated I downloaded Sims 2 Deluxe Edition, which is the DVD set on its own. There's one DVD to install The Sims 2, Nightlife, and an expansion pack of stuff. So, which is fine, worked perfectly. Um, so, once I installed that, all I did is right click. This is an ISO and Windows 8.1 Pro, I'm not entirely sure about home, has a built in ISO reader, and you just open with. Windows Explorer and there we are so that is that ISO right there and the reason why I downloaded this is because I've already purchased it once I ha I own all the expansions um, I purchased this once and I didn't particularly want to purchase it again um, so I downloaded it um, and that, that, well, that's that so um, anyway I auto ran um, installed the game, installed fine, absolutely perfect. Um, now, installing expansions, I'll go by uh, mansion and garden stuff is because that's the latest expansion I have, as you can see, is EP9, which is, I believe, the latest one. Um, I installed that, installed absolutely perfectly. Now, when you run um, mansion and garden stuff, it will run from this. Here, which is Sims 2 Launcher and let me show you what happens when you d double click on that that's what happens when you double click on that so um, what I done was change that icon to run this instead which runs perfectly there is no issues with that whatsoever it's absolutely fine um, it's just uh, show you how I did that if for anyone that's interested I right clicked on the icon on the desktop clicked properties and then in there you'll see here it says target which yours right here will say the Sims 2 launcher now what you want to do is go back to your open fold over here or you can click open file location and it will take you to where you need to be um, Click on that file there, and it should up, it will bring up the rename menu or the rename little box, and you right click and click copy. You then go back to this one here, this uh, open window here, and you highlight the end bit there, which will be Sims 2 Launcher. You right click, click paste, and ensure that the end there has the .exe still. If it doesn't, pop it in. As long as it's in those speech marks, then that's fine. Just click apply, it will ask you for permission, you click continue, and that is now done. It will run from that file right there instead of that file right there, which doesn't work. Now that that's done, I'm going to show you how to make it run at full graphics, because if you have a modern system, it will not detect the graphics card properly, and will not run at the proper resolution and proper spec according to your machine. Now I've got a high-end gaming system, I like everything looking crisp, clear and lovely. Now you can't do that once you've installed The Sims, it's an absolute nightmare, but some woman did. And on this website here, so you can go direct to this website, I'll include a link in the description below. Um, that right there, this lady here, uh, Kiri, actually redesigned, um, added a few bits to a certain file um, which includes coding and scripting etc um, which then enabled her to use her graphics card properly and it worked for me I had to add a little bit more to mine um, and I'll show you what to do there so 
reading through this page, um, if you scroll down a bit to the point where she talks about um, changing a few items here with a smiley face at the top. Um, at the bottom there is an attached files section and just here is config. Now I clicked on that, downloaded that nicely um, and saved that to my desktop which is right there so I'm going to overwrite it um, which basically downloads her version um, of the two files that are needed which if I open are right there. So let's pop that over there. You will need a WinRAR or a 7-zip or some kind of zip program that you use. Um, there's plenty out there. Um, I use WinRAR and 7-zip myself. Um, so there you go. There's the two files that you need. Where they need to go is if you open up your file location again, just like so. Um, you then click at the top here. It says Sims 2 Mansion and Garden Stuff. Click there. You then have TS data underneath TS bin, which is where you need to be, and then res, which is all, all this is explained on um, Kiri's website. Once you're in there, the two files or the two folders you need to edit are these two here, which is CS config and config. So I've double tapped on config there, and as you can see, if I open up the WinRAR, video cards, graphics rules, and there's graphics rules and video cards. So what you need to do there is um, I copied and pasted or extracted or clicked and dragged whatever you want to do however you want to do it to this folder here. Um, you'll need to overwrite the graphics rules. Um, this um, as I say I had to edit mine so I'll upload mine on a link of the description below so you can try both if you wish, um, if the first one doesn't work, you can try mine. If my one doesn't work, you can try hers, um, or do a little bit of research yourself and try and find another. Excuse me, try and find another version that works fine. Um, okay, so I then overwrote, overwrote my version, um, and basically what that does is includes all her code that she's added to this. Um, there's no viruses, you don't need to worry, it won't cause any damage to your system or anything like that. Now, the, what I done was because, if you see here, it requires a card of at least 32 meg. Now, if it can't, de det if it can't detect your graphics card, it will automatically default to 32 meg, which it says here, failed to obtain device, forced to 32 meg. Now, this bit of code here tells the machine I will show you, normally says that and basically what that does is tells the machine um, or tells the program that if it can't detect the card set the memory to 32 megabytes which I didn't like um, in fact um, it didn't work for me I had to change that to 1 gig I mean I can run up to 3 on mine depends on your card size you may only have 512 which 512 obviously is 512 that's 512 megabytes. Mine, I so, uh, changed it to one gigabyte, which is 1024 megabytes. Um, you then want to save, if you do change this yourself, um, you then want to save as and save it to your desktop because it will not allow you to save it to your config file because that is a protected file on your hard drive. So, desktop and save already exists over yeah. so you obviously won't have that um, this is from where I was doing mine last night um, so there is the graphics rules which I just saved now if you right click and copy and right click and paste where it's gone it's disappeared copy paste right so there we are you want to copy that and paste that in there that will res hopefully resolve the issues that you've had um, that's the only change that I made to lovely Kiri's um, graphics rules um, so I'll upload my version to the link uh, to a in the description below and you can try it if you wish it's entirely up to you but you do have to have a graphics card of one gigabytes or more or it will fail, it will just not work. It, 
it will try and allocate more graphics capabilities than your machine will be able to provide and it will probably just crash. I haven't tried it myself personally, um, so I don't know what will happen. Um, so make sure your graphics card runs more than one gig of graphics. That's 1024 megabytes of graphical power. Video cards. Again, I did not copy her one. You are more than welcome to copy her one if you have the 7800 series graphics card. That is the AMD HD 7800 series, so 7830, 7850 and 7870. I have the 7950, so in mine, if I scroll down to the bottom of ATI, right here says AMD Radeon HD 7900 series. And I'll show you how to find this. All you do is you right click on your desktop and there's clear space on your desktop, screen resolution, and then advanced settings there. And in here it says AMD HD, uh, Radeon HD 7900 series, which obviously shows there. Now, it asks for your hex key. It needs your hex key to be able to understand what your machine is and what your graphics card is, um, which is explained at the top of her post. Right here, it needs your hex number. Back to the screen resolution and minimize that. Okay, so right here, um, where your chip type is, it says AMD Radeon graphics processor. You may have NVIDIA, at which point it will say the NVIDIA equivalent. And in brackets, it has 0x679A, and that is your hex. That is the hex ID for your card. Now, you'll, not, you'll need to either pop that into a little notepad to remember it, or just remember it, write it down, anything like that, basically. And you'll need that there, which is the adapter type. That is the name of your graphics card. So, click OK, and click OK. So that's now gone. So as before, as I explained, you'll need to type card 0x and then the rest of the ID number. And then in speech marks, uh, yeah, speech marks, sorry, um, you'll then need to type the name of your graphics card exactly how it looks. I would use capitals where it needs capitals, etc, etc. Reason being is because that way the system knows exactly what it's looking for and won't hopefully cause any issues later on that may arise. So once you've done that, again, file, save as. It will not allow you to save it to your config file. Some select people it will, but most of the time it won't. So again, you'll need to save as and go to your desktop, which is the easiest place to find your stuff. Video cards dot SGR because that's what the file is and then click save close that so now you have your video cards file which should include your video card um, obviously underneath is the respected NVIDIA graphics cards for if you have an NVIDIA graphics card so that should now hopefully add your card to the list and allow you to run your graphics what you need to then do is right click Click copy, go back to your mansion stuff, which should still be open. If not, you right click, open file location, click the Sims 2 mansion and garden stuff at the top, TS data, res, config. And there's those two rules there that you need. So paste it in there. I'm not going to paste it because mine's already done. So once you've done that, you would then need to click on both of these and copy both together so there we are, copy so you need to hold control to click on both um, and then let go right click click copy and you can now save those to a file if you wish so you've got a backup of your own rules in case you ever need to reinstall the sims again you can just paste those back in and hopefully it should just work again if you have the same setup as before if you don't um, then obviously you need to go through this again and change everything you need to. Um, so those are now copied. You want to go back to res and then 
earlier I spoke about you need to edit both of these files here or folders. So jump into CS config underneath the config one and paste those two in there as well. The reason why I say that is because it uses, I'm not sure if it uses both or um, it uses a mixture depending on what your machine's like, etc. But I copied both and it worked for me and it does say in the post on here, I'm not entirely sure where, but she had to find out which version hers ran. So I would recommend to uh, just replace both. Um, you can back up them before you replace them, that's not a problem. Um, that way if you have any issues, instead of reinstalling, you can then just put your old files back in if you need to. But and once you've done that, that is it. That is how I got mine to run. Um, the good thing about my graphics rules as well is I'll include that and the video cards for anyone that has my card. Um, I near the bottom um, it says maximum um, resolution there, right there. Unit prop, max resolution width and max resolution height. I changed mine so I can run at the full resolution of my screen. You are more than welcome to change this if you know what you're doing, but I'm not going to explain it how to do it now. Um, and that will be in another tutorial later if you want. But please, um, if you are going to edit any of this information, please make a backup first because if it goes wrong, it will mess the system. Uh, it will mess up the sims. So you'll need to re either reinstall or replace this with a copy of another version. Um, so yeah, I've changed mine to 1080p, so the maximum resolution it then supports will be 1080p, which you can set in your uh, settings for your display once you're in the sims. And that's pretty much it. Um, I haven't done anything to compatibility mode or anything like that, um, I just made sure it ran from that file there, like I said earlier in the tutorial, changed the graphics cards and video cards rules, um, with the lovely Kiri's version down here. Um, this person here is the person that um, managed to resolve most of the issue um, for myself and I added my own little bit to make it work for me. Um, ah, I didn't actually read all the way down to there. Um, right there it does say that you can change the size of the texture memory to whichever you need depending on how much your machine can use so it did say at the bottom anyway and I didn't actually see that myself um, I looked through and done it myself um, so yes hopefully this has been big help to you you are more than welcome to post any question you like in the uh, in the, the comments below and I'll try my best to help you but I am no software engineer um, I just tinkered myself and managed to get it to work so, but you are more than welcome to leave a question. I'll try my best to answer it. Um, hope you, this does work for you. Um, if it did, please like and subscribe. It really does help. Um, and this has been Kamikaze Kiwi. Thanks very much. See you later. Happy Simsing.